the training was very good. Was very, it was very, it was kind of a postgraduate course from officer's candidate school, if you can put it in those terms. Uh, the training was rigorous. It was hard on the body and the mind, uh, but it was, uh, it was well, well designed uh, by professionals in training. They knew what you could absorb in a given period and play back. Uh, there were days when you felt like giving up physically because it was tough. It was very tough. But there were days when you felt like uh, ex you felt exhilaration because you had accomplished something. Uh, Twenty-mile hikes, for instance, on a with a full load on your back, and the blazing Texas sun was is unforgettable. Uh, so is the entertainment at night, when people like Bob Hope would come by and entertain the troops. Uh, this was the good part, and the food. Let me say here, was better than I expected. We had uh, training at Camp Swift involving uh, live ammunition, for instance, uh, when uh, the trainers uh, laid down a field of fire and we were required to crawl under it. And eight or ten inches over our heads was live ammunition. Uh, this keeps you low, my friend. <laughs> and uh, I'll always remember uh, keeping low. We lost no personnel thank goodness, in that training, but it certainly was a vivid way to explain to uh, young infantrymen that they must keep their heads down. Yes, to that extent, we did have actual combat training. There was a, a, a few who didn't make it for various reasons, and this is understandable. Uh, that kind of training is, uh, takes a toll on a man's body and mind, and there were a few, I would not say a lot, there were a few who didn't make it and uh, were discharged or moved to other, other duties, but they simply were not uh, deemed to be combat material. And so that happened. I think that's the natural course of, of the process of getting ready for combat. And going back to that time, were you aware of whether or not you'd be going to Europe or the Pacific? We were pretty sure we would be headed to Europe because uh, at that time the momentum of the war, as you may remember, was shifting to Europe. The planned uh, invasion of France was being built up and talked about. When and where it would happen was unknown, of course, but it was common knowledge that that was the plan. And uh, I think there was a general feeling that we would go to Europe, and we did. Yes, we were transferred from Camp Swift to Camp Kilmer in New Jersey, uh, which was a kind of a training, final training, jumping off point, if you will, and, uh, and Fort Dix, also in New Jersey. Uh, Fort Dix and Camp Kilmer were our final uh, training in the U.S. before we left uh, to go to Europe. And most of that tr training on your last leg, was that primarily combat training? No, it was mostly tuning up, uh, taking uh, the fine edges of, of what we had to do when we got there, uh, a lot of uh, information about conditions in, in Europe, uh, what we could expect to run into, uh, the training, the heavy training had pretty much tapered off at Camp Swift, Texas. Now we were getting ready for actual combat and the last minute things that we had to know.